liberal viewer present. So if you've been watching the health insurance reform debate this month, you may have noticed the resurrection of the public option in which the U.S. government would fight rising health care costs by starting up a nonprofit insurance plan to compete with private for-profit insurance. And given that many pundits had pronounced the public option dead, there was something a little ghoulish about its return just in time for Halloween, as noticed by the Colbert Report in this montage from last night's show. The public option is dead. The public option is dead. This thing is dead on arrival. Now it appears this public option has come back to life. I don't believe the public option was ever fully dead. The public option resurrected. Back from the dead. It has a pulse. Refuses to die. The public option was considered dead with a stake through its heart. The public option monster simply will not die. This thing is still alive. You can't kill it. <laughs> Uh, now, while that humorous montage casts the public option as the monster of the story, the real monster threatening America is the rapid growth of health care costs because the United States spends a greater portion of its gross domestic product on health care than any of the 29 other OECD member countries you can see here, and even worse, many sources show the U.S. doesn't even get better outcomes for all that spending, including the peer-reviewed study from a 2004 issue of Health Affairs that looked at a range of health problems from breast cancer to measles and concluded, quote, the extra spending is probably not buying better experiences with the health care system with the exception of shorter waits for non-urgent surgery. Earlier studies have shown the United States to be in the bottom quartile of population health indicators such as life expectancy and infant mortality. Our results also fail to reveal what the extra spending has bought, unquote. So the big difference between the United States and these other countries is not health care quality, but only health care costs, with the other big difference being that all these other countries have some form of universal health care, usually with at least a public option, if not a real government-run single-payer system, which makes me think that, better late than never, it's about time Americans were the last ones to figure this one out, but I want to know what you think. Will some kind of public option remain alive in a final health insurance reform bill enacted this year, and... On the more important question, will the resurrection of the public option finally put a stake through the heart of the monster of rising health care costs in the United States? I, YouTube, you decide.